In this tutorial, we will take a look at Print Editor in Plumbica Romexis software. So Print Editor is a tool uh, with which we can make custom printouts uh, with the patient's images and we can also determine our own uh, layouts uh, for the printouts so we can uh, always make printouts with uh, specific uh, layouts how the images are organized uh, in the printout. And uh, let's start uh, by uh, uh, by seeing how we can add images uh, to printouts. So uh, if we open a patient here, uh, we can get to print editor both uh, through 2D and 3D imaging modules. So let's go, go first uh, to 2D imaging module and uh, by keeping control down we can select several images and then we can open them uh, by selecting the view uh, selected and here in the upper toolbar uh, we can access uh, the print editor. And here next to the print editor there's also DICOM print editor so if we have a license for this uh, we can also print images with DICOM compatible printers. But let's uh, select this ordinary uh, print editor now. So here uh, like we see our images um, got opened uh, in a print editor, so here we have our panoramic and then we have the intraoral image here. And I have here a default uh, layout uh, for images, like we see here, uh, there are predefined image slots for CBCT snapshots, so this is not optimal uh, for this kind of image selection with uh, panoramic and intraoral image. But uh, we can uh, select another type of uh, layout, so if we go here uh, to the upper uh, toolbar uh, I have previously defined here also a layout called Pan and Intra. Uh, and here I had specified a slot for a panoramic image on the first page and, and on the second page uh, there's a slot for intraoral image. So when I just change the layout uh, these images found their places uh, automatically. So they they got placed uh, to those respective image slots. But before we go more into detail with this, let's uh, close print editor and this time let's go uh, to print editor through the 3D imaging module. So firstly let's open a CBCT volume. So naturally we could uh, take uh, 2D snapshots uh, here in the 3D imaging module and they would be saved here in the 2D uh, module. So uh, we could uh, open those snapshots here and, and we could go to print editor. But we can also directly uh, access print editor from the 3D uh, imaging module. So uh, firstly of course we could adjust uh, this view, uh, we could adjust the image, we could add our annotations, uh, change the orientation and so on until we have uh, the kind of view uh, that we want to print out and then we could go to the upper toolbar and here uh, we can see print editor. So let's select that one and uh, firstly here we can determine uh, which all views uh, we want to include uh, in the printout. So uh, if we want to exclude uh, some of these views already at this stage uh, we can simply click on them. So now we wouldn't have our 3D rendered view or sagittal view. And if we want to include them anyway, we can click back and now all of these uh, four views uh, would be brought to print editor. And uh, with this multi-panel division, you can find more information in the user's manual, uh, but with this multi-panel division we can still uh, adjust uh, the layout uh, for different views uh, in the printout. Uh, we have a couple of uh, further options as well, so we could determine uh, whether we want to have the image colored or not uh, and whether we want to create one single image containing all of these uh, four views or whether we want to have uh, four separate images. Then uh, we could generate images as shown on the screen. Uh, we could change the resolution, we could make the fonts larger and uh, if we always prefer uh, to use uh, specific settings here and we can save them as default uh, presets so they are always pre-selected. But let's now continue to print editor uh, with uh, these options here. So print editor got opened uh, with these uh, four views uh, that we had opened uh, in the 3D imaging module and uh, like we see uh, they got organized uh, in this default layout uh, like I had specified uh, the different image slots uh, for this. 
uh, types of images. And uh, let's see uh, the third option for adding images uh, to printouts. So uh, here actually below uh, these images there's a panoramic slot so we could add a panoramic image to that. So if we open the image browser here in the upper toolbar uh, we can access all the images that the patient has in the 2D module. So we could add uh, these images to the printout. So uh, if I now double click on this panoramic image it gets added uh, to this panoramic slot. So because I had this uh, panoramic slot in my layout, this panoramic image got automatically uh, added to that slot. So the images that we add from here, they always get automatically added uh, to the first available slot of that type uh, in, the, uh, in the layout. So let's, let's close the image browser. This will be many enough images for us. And let's then take a look at how we can uh, modify the setup of the page. So here we have page setup uh, in the upper toolbar and here like we see uh, we have several options. We could browse for logos uh, to be added here uh, to the layout so we don't need to have this Plan Mecca and Romexis logos here. We could browse for clinic logos for example and then uh, we could determine how the header and footer look like. Uh, we could define margins uh, for the page, uh, page orientation, page size. And all of these uh, settings here, they get saved uh, together with the layout. Uh, so if we would uh, save this print layout here, uh, we would get uh, the settings like we had specified them for the page here. And uh, this page uh, looks a little bit crowded, so let's add another page uh, to our printout. So here in the upper uh, toolbar, uh, we have a function for adding new pages. So let's open that and we get to select whether we want to add a completely empty page uh, to the layout or if we want to add a copy of this page uh, with these uh, kind of, kinds of image slots uh, on the page. So let's add a copy. So here we see that on this second page, like said, uh, we have uh, the corresponding image slots uh, already uh, defined, but we don't have any images. And let's first uh, see how we can navigate between uh, different pages here. So here we have this thumbnail view. Uh, we can just simply click on the page uh, that we want to work on. And uh, uh, another option is to use these arrows here. So we can navigate uh, between pages by using the arrows. And if you want to hide uh, the thumbnails, uh, we can click here. Let's then uh, take a look at how uh, we can organize images. Uh, here um, in the in the layout. So firstly, let's uh, move the CBCT snapshots uh, away from this first page. So we can just activate uh, the image by clicking on that and then if we right click on top of it, we can have the option of uh, moving this image to the second page. And here in the thumbnail view, uh, we see how this axial view uh, got moved uh, to exactly uh, this axial slot uh, on the second page. So let's uh, continue by uh, moving all of these uh, snapshots there. And now uh, let's see how we can arrange images uh, on the page. So uh, we can uh, simply uh, grab on the images with the mouse and uh, we can move them around uh, in the printout and then uh, to simply scale uh, the images we can just uh, grab the border around the images and we can uh, scale. And then uh, we have uh, further options uh, if we right click on top of an active image so here uh, we could have the option of centering the image horizontally or vertically on the page. Uh, we could also uh, determine uh, the scaling and then uh, we could scale the image uh, to fit uh, the available area. Then uh, if we would like to send them back or uh, front uh, determine uh, which images are on the forefront, uh, we could use these controls here. And we already tried uh, moving the images from one page to the other. Uh, alternatively, we might copy images so that we would have uh, the same images on several pages. 
and then if we uh, only want to have part of this image here included in the uh, printout, then we can determine cropping. So if we activate this adjust uh, crop button here in the upper toolbar, uh, we can determine uh, by, by tracking with mouse uh, which area of the image uh, would be included in the printout. And then we can right click here and we can select uh, apply crop region. So now, like we see, uh, we got the cropped image and we could reset uh, the crop uh, through the right, right click options as well. And then furthermore, if there's uh, something that we want to remove uh, from the layout, uh, we can activate that object. So for example, I had here a panoramic slot uh, that I don't need on this page. So I activated it by clicking it so that it has this highlighted border around it and I can right click and remove that uh, from the layout. And we can still uh, get uh, more options uh, for, um, for adjusting uh, the images here in the printout if we uh, click on the image so that it gets active and then uh, for this active image we can see these controls here on the right side uh, of the screen. So here, like we see, we could also uh, specify uh, the scaling for the image and uh, we could adjust the positioning exactly and the size uh, for the image. And if we would like uh, the image to have borders, uh, we could define the width of, of the border here. So now we see that the border appeared here or then the height. And we could also determine what is the border and the fill color uh, for, for this border around the image. And then we have some further uh, options here, uh, so uh, we could specify whether the image uh, gets scaled uh, with the slot. And uh, then when we have this snap options uh, selected here, uh, this helps us in uh, positioning uh, the image in the layout. So it snaps uh, to these area edges or, or the edges of, of these other objects, so these other images here. So it helps us in uh, refining the layout uh, of the images. Then uh, furthermore, uh, we can adjust uh, the labels. So here uh, in the corners of this image, uh, we see uh, image labels. So uh, this is a list uh, of all the labels that we have here in this layout. And uh, here we can manage uh, the labels. So uh, here, for example, uh, when we have this image, uh, uh, capturing date uh, selected. Now we see uh, that the relative positioning is here uh, in the lower uh, left corner. Uh, we could change that, uh, for example, to uh, right corner uh, instead. Or we could also uh, position the labels uh, away uh, from, from top of the image so that they would appear here uh, outside. Or then we could we could uh, hide all the labels if we wouldn't need them. And uh, we could change uh, the font uh, for the labels, the color, uh, the opacity of, of this background uh, here. And uh, with this list uh, we can determine uh, or, or we could even add uh, new labels here. So uh, these labels uh, the standard labels that we have in the layout, uh, they aren't uh, visible if we don't have the respective information uh, for the image. And then uh, if, we, if we would uh, like to create uh, new labels, let's add uh, some free text. And let's uh, determine here uh, what we would write here. So I don't know, like uh, for example this uh, printed. Now uh, it got uh, added to this row here, uh, but let's uh, change the relative positioning so that we have it uh, here uh, on the other uh, corner instead. And this LB means line break, so if we have several uh, labels in the same corner, uh, we can put them also on top of each other if they have the line break uh, after them. And then uh, with these up and down buttons, uh, we can determine uh, uh, the order uh, of the labels. So for example, if we have several labels in the same uh, uh, corner, uh, we can determine uh, their order. And let's uh, still take a look at some um, adjustments that we can make here. So here, for example, in this uh, uh, panoramic image, I have some annotations made. And if I would like to uh, print out the original images instead, I could use this 
show a nose button here or I could uh, deactivate that so now we got rid of uh, the annotations so this only uh, hides uh, those annotations that we have made in the 2D imaging module so unfortunately for example the annotations in the 3D meeting module cannot anymore be removed here. Let's then uh, still uh, take a look at um, how we can add text uh, to print out. So here in this uh, template we already have uh, a text box so we could uh, write uh, anything here in this text box or we could add a new text box here. So if I just uh, add this empty uh, text box I can uh, write uh, text also here and here uh, on the right side like we see uh, we have uh, the options for also uh, scaling and positioning this text box and adding borders and uh, managing the font uh, for example. And what else uh, we still have here uh, we could uh, zoom in and out uh, so if we want to uh, see more details when we're working with the printout uh, we can use this or then we can zoom it uh, back uh, to fit uh, the screen and I guess uh, that's then uh, all the other uh, functions so that's how we can uh, define uh, the printouts and uh, if we have uh, adjusted here a layout that we would like to uh, use later uh, we can save uh, the layout so we can uh, save that as default uh, so this default template would be how uh, the template that would be used uh, always when we open the print editor uh, like I was uh, like the default template how my 2D images uh, got opened uh, when, when I first brought them uh, to print editor or then I can save them as named template uh, so like I saved my, like I had saved my uh, Panon Intra template so uh, if I if I would like to use uh, this kind of this kind of uh, print out later, I could uh, I could uh, give it a name. So for example, hand and CBCT. So let's uh, click on OK, and now we could for later uh, we could use this kind of uh, layout uh, for the printouts. And then uh, how we can uh, then uh, use this printout so uh, when we have specified uh, the printout here naturally we could uh, print it uh, if we would click here on print page. So this would uh, open uh, the printer settings and, and we could continue the printing or we could make a PDF uh, file uh, of this printout. So let's cancel uh, the printing and then uh, Alternatively, we might uh, export this printout as image or then if we would like to save uh, the printout, uh, we could save it as a photograph in the 2D imaging module. So uh, if we would like to save it uh, inside Romexis, we could save it as, as an image, the 2D imaging module. And if we would like to recreate it as a print later, we could just add that photo uh, in 100% scale and that, that way we could get the similar kind of printout uh, like we defined here. And when we stop uh, working with a print editor like we already saw, uh, we can close the print editor uh, through this close button in the upper uh, right corner.